Whereas New Orleans Streets was my big chop of sweet for piano work in the 80s, in the new century, that role goes to the sweet map dreams, the geopoetic sweet, one of the, one of the central recognitions uh, in, in, my, in my legacy of what place has meant to me. Uh, this one, this section, uh, which comes near the middle of the suite, and which uh, therefore is in a, a middle geographical point, because there is a geographical suite beginning in the Missouri Mills Arcs and up to the north woods and across the northern plains, climaxing with a kind of showdown with self in, uh, in the interior northwest, Idaho and northwest Montana, with the gorge of Thompson Falls being brought into that as well. This piece is named for a town in southwestern North Dakota called Rain, R-H-A-M-E, a place which I saw with Scott Kirby in the summer of 99, and it's made a great permanent impact on me. This piece is one that I program outside other sections of the Sweets company again and again. It too is on those concerts these days. Uh, there's some good performances on YouTube of this, and I invite you to have a look at it if you haven't seen it. So here then, in 2011, is a piece that reckons with that great vastness, and the, the way that smallness of self and the face of the infinity of the cosmos can also expand into something that it was. I love the idea of the, the tiny actually being without limitations, or enormity and the smallness all with and all that we can do. So that kind of thinking is in the background of my brain.
Thank you.